It is a wonderful cold day in Mississippi. Today we got a detail job, Chevy Silverado. Let's go check it out. All right, so we got some dirt on the floor, Chick-fil-A cups, and a sticky screen. done first that's what he wants I'm not gonna clay it or wax it I'm just gonna do a basic wash make sure everything looks good dress the tires before we get started I actually have all my detailing stuff fresh from California and uh, it's a giant mess so I'm gonna go ahead and organize this real quick I wanted to show you so I just resprayed the grill because it kind of got a little dry we're gonna let that soak in a little bit more the tires already turned brown so what I'm gonna do is just scrub that down with a brush when I go around I'm gonna use this brush here for the rubber on the tires I'm gonna use this one on the grill and the bottom portions of the paint just to get into the emblems and to get the dirt out Get into the cracks, crevices, and the emblem, the corners. So we can see right in here, there's all this rubber in the hinges a little bit. So we just gotta hit those with the brush and the dirt becomes loose and then we're gonna pressure wash it off. guys so we have a beautiful day cold one ahead of us in Mississippi it's like 9 50 a.m. and we're gonna complete the outside of this truck and then move into the inside what are you doing Daisy we'll generally spend more time on the inside of the tire kind of getting it into the emblems of the tire the lettering because naturally this tire shine is going to want to go outward when you're going 80 miles an hour down the freeway. Okay, I'm putting it in the center of the tire first. That's going to eliminate the sling of the dressing. Last thing you want, especially in a car, low profile tires, is the dressing going everywhere all over the paintwork, especially on higher end cars, things like that. Not that I do detail those cars, but it's just something to keep in mind. Well, the door jams came out pretty good. They could use a quick wipe down with some quick detailer. And uh, we're going to get started on the inside here.
all that's left to do is a final vacuum wiping down the dash and the plastic areas getting rid of the uh, I guess the splotchiness of the the cleaner that was on there so we're gonna use a quick detailer a final vacuum and then doing the windows so the way I do this is I do the windows first because it always gets the dash full of window cleaner and the door panels I'm gonna do the windows and then I'm gonna wipe everything down and then go ahead and vacuum everything and then we're gonna finish up with the outside windows and we're good to go Mississippi it's super humid out here it gets gross when you drive it rains all the time so if this was a show car I mean maybe the expectations would be different so guys this truck is done I'm done making this video it's been a long day it's gonna be a longer drive home I gotta go back to Austin after this and uh, if you haven't already make sure you drop me one of these hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching I'll see you guys on the next one